Hi, this is Tim of the 1916 Company. Welcome and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me. I am still tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It is still in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any of our platforms. That's tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, from Rescence, a Belgian Swiss hybrid, we have this 42.7 millimeter sapphire and grade 5 titanium Rescence Type one round. Now this is the type 1.3 round, the watch featuring a case that is basically all crystal and all dial, as you can barely even see the bezel from the top, an ergonomic dream, 42.7 round, 11.5 millimeters thick and from lug to lug, wire lug to wire lug, 48 millimeters with a 20 millimeter strap size. Throw the watch on the wrist, and it is just a wonder, easy to wear, comfortable. You can see it's almost like wearing a wire lug rod, you mirrors. The lugs are there, but barely apparent. This watch, because it is so light of titanium and sapphire, sits easy, wears comfortably, and would fit even on a wrist of 14 centimeters circumference. I could even see a lady with a wrist of 13 and a half centimeters circumference wearing this well. Look how far inboard of the edge of the case my wrist is. It's even more evident in this down the barrel shot. And then finally, you can see with a sloped flank and a narrow profile, it will fit underneath the dress cuff. We have a wonderful horsehide shell cord of seamless strap, and it is literally as slick as plastic. It is a wonderfully luxurious material that is evocative of the best kind of polo boots. There's a contrasting stitch right here, just a little bit of a contrast in blue. The rest of it, you can see, is seamless as it's a bonded rather than stitched strap. So we have a calfskin on the bottom, you can see it's gray calfskin, and an elongated hole for the specific shape of the pin used in the buckle. Rescence friendly and approachable hand logo, Benoit Mintians, creator of the brand and designer of the watches. He's an industrial designer by trade. He wanted something that was approachable, friendly, and not intimidating like a conventional high luxury watch. And the hand communicates that. You can see in profile, we have a sheer cut side showing the thick layers of leather. And this is a very, very tough material. You can also see that the profile is slightly curved so it isn't constrained in its motion against the flank of the case and then if you actually look underneath it you can see it's not actually an integrated wire lug there is a spring bar in there so you can use the strap tool to dismount the strap we have a counterweighted grade 5 titanium buckle and you can see the little hand in the pin and then the pin sits in a recess in the buckle i love that attention to detail taking a quick look at the case itself there's very little of it now the lugs are blended in and again wires style, but much more robust than historic soldered or welded on wire lugs. You can see the mid case is all polished. Now grade five titanium is hypoallergenic and lightweight like grade two, but unlike grade two, it's much more scratch resistant than steel, which is something I like to see. Now the case back is satinated, but it is also grade five titanium. You can see how the sapphire rolls all the way to the edge of the case. So when you view it from the front, it's almost like a watch that is all dial with no bezel. And you have excellent view from any angle as the curvature of the crystal creates very, very, very little distortion. Now the biggest surprise with almost every resonance watch it's just how well loomed it is. And you can see it really does take you aback. It's easy to demonstrate that the watch is a regulator here. We have our seconds display right there. We have our minutes display outboard, and then we have our hours display down here. We have our day of the week indicator, and it moves in a clockwise direction. So for example, right here, you can see we have those two semicircles representing Saturday and Sunday. Then we are just past the midpoint of the second arc. So that is just past noon on a Tuesday. And as you can see, that corresponds to 1 p.m. So you can read both the time, the day, and the time of day in a 24-hour format because of that little day of the week indicator. Of course, it is also equipped with the ROCS 1.3, the Rescence Orbital Convex System. So each one of these indications rotates relative to its own axis, but also relative to the center of the dial. Now, the dial features a lovely a brushed metallic grain. It has a luxurious texturing to it. You can see the metal applique with the hand symbol up at 12 o'clock. So that's how you operate this system. There is a sort of 
incremental adjustment that you can use to rapidly adjust the day of the week backwards. You see how I just make roughly a one quarter turn and it quick sets this thing in a counterclockwise direction. Now this is something that originally debuted on the original Type 1 Squared, which was the first square watch, but the case back setting lever proliferated across the range because it makes the Resence crown free watches a lot easier to set. Now obviously you set it by turning the case back. It is automatic, but you can also wind it using the case back. As you rotate, you will find that there are friction zones and then you just roll back and forth through the friction zone and it winds the ETA 2892A2 base. Now in this application, you have the Resence module, which is 19 joules and over 100 parts, sitting on the 2892A2 base, which has 21 joules, is a bi-directional winder, and in this application gives you 36 hours of power reserve with a 4 hertz beat rate and bi-directional winding. So the step from the 2824 to the 2892 about seven years ago, brought Resens into a place where the watches were now much, much thinner. They were thin before, but they're much thinner now, as the 2892 is about a millimeter thinner than the 2824. Now, there's no real water resistance to speak of here, as we have one ATM water resistance, but this is splash and range only. In fact, I'm going to correct myself. I think the changed the 2892 came five years ago in 2019, but it makes a big difference in the profile and the fit of the watch. If you love this watch, reach out to Team Also at thewatchbox.com for all of your purchase and pricing questions.